Dans les filets, in the net, going to be Notre Dame number 30, Yolo Gassien Fashion. And Hobie back on getting his second starting assignment in Missouri. The line, here's Robbie Petorek in front. The flexion push goes wide, and Fashion stops Petorek for a full train. Well, Petorek made a very nice play there. He held onto it, held onto it, and he saw Jensen streaking in from the left side, and he tried to get the puck. There's Jensen moving in. He tried to get the puck to him. It went off Jensen's skate. Petorek got another try at it, but he wasn't able to get it by Rogi Vashon. Sharp try in all alone. Checked and knocked down. Here's Patrick, number 19, hit shot. Vashon holds onto it. And that's the seventh U.S. shot here in the game. Canada holding a 19 to 7 inch. Well, Rogi Vashon had to come up with two. Team USA down the right side, a shot. Oh, and a hammer from here, tweeting in front, a shot, and Vashon stopped it. Another shot. Razar setting up in front. There's a shot. And that shot from Lars Eric Erickson was stopped by Vashon. Shot. Lost it. Here's Salming letting a shot go. And Vashon stopped that. LaPointe viewers under copyright of Canada Cup of Hockey 76. There's a shot right from the face on Salming. But that was lost. Any use of this telecast without the express consent of Canada Cup of Hockey 76 is prohibited. Well, a great save by Rogi Vashaw. Right from the draw, Lundstrom gets the puck back to the point, and that screamer was labeled for the far side. Rogi just got his glove on it, but it was a super stop. That puck could have been in the net tying the hockey game, but Vashaw came up with a sparkling save. Vashaw's looking for an early birthday present. It's his 31st birthday tomorrow. Face off to hit. Headbear, headbear, racing it on goal. is shot, and Vashaw. Team Canada player injured in the second period. And a goal by Bobby Hall gives Canada a 1 0 lead. There's the stop by Rogi Vasha. Stasny, Stasny gets the pass. Peter Stasny going behind the net. Up for Hollick. Hollick shoots. Oh, what a save by Rogi Vasha on a shot that was labeled. Well, Rogi Vasha came right out to the top of the crease and, and cut off the angle. Here we see it drop to Hollick. Look at Rogi come right out to the top of the crease and glove it. He made sure there wasn't too much net to shoot at. He went to the far side. Hollick went to the far side. And Rogi came with a glove stop. But he made a good move coming out very quickly to cut down the angle so that the Czechoslovakian player didn't have too much to shoot at. Kalinka comes back in. There's the long shot by Stasny. And a good one it was. Ariane Stasny. And Rogi Vashaw making the save. You know, Czechoslovakia through the first period had no offsides. They've had four here in the second period. With out to center ice, right past Aberman. He's rushing in. Potvad coming back. Aberman gets that. Rogi Vashaw got a stick on it. And there's going to be a penalty. Rogi Vashaw just got his stick on that one. They're calling Denny Potvad, I think, for slashing. Here we have it, right across the shoulders. And Denny Potvad did deserve to pick up the penalty. And this will be at the point. Number seven. Over to the far side. That's Makach. His shot is right on and kicked into the corner by Vashon. Makach again. Here's the screenshot. It's loose in front. Rogi Vashon goes down and he hangs on. Well, Phil Barber was a little upset with himself. He didn't shoot the puck quite hard enough by the Czechoslovakian point man, Makach. He got the good shot away and the deflection on Rogi uh, Vashon's doorstep almost went by him. But Phil Barber was a little upset with himself not being able to get that puck down the ice and take a little pressure off Team Canada. A little score on him, so you can't do much better than that. Now for Team Canada. Jean Vidigal to make the presentation to the star of the game for Team Canada, Rogacien Vachon. Well, the appreciation for Rogi Vachon. making the presentation as Rogi Vashon picks up a standing ovation from the crowd. The handshake between these two fine goaltenders and the handshakes at center ice. Of course, part of this will be tallied up at the end of the series. The most valuable player for the whole series for each team will be receiving a Toyota Celica GT. Gila Point making a very good play there. Uh, its timing was very good, dropping in front of that shot. The Soviet player uh, waited, 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 tried to get him to go down, but he was able to slide across and deflect that uh, puck over the uh, goal and out of play. In over the line, a shot, and Vashon stops that. For Balderas, in over the line, right in on goal, and Vashon got a piece of that as they go end to end in one 
exciting action here at Maple Leaf Garden. They got caught in the middle of the change, almost cost them a goal. Right from the faceoff, Maltef lets it go, and Vashon is there to make the stop. Three minutes and 54 seconds remain to be played in the second period, and they're going to have some difficulty in picking stars in this game. Lead pass again for Kapustin. Kapustin circling in on the right side, right in on goal, and it just trickles by the open side. Mike Hovind in over the line, taking the pass, Lebedev, his shot, rebound, stopped by Vashon. Team Canada line drops it back to Kapustin, and a pass stopped by Rogi. Things trying to protect a two-goal lead for less than five seconds. Here we have the skate save. Kapustin with a quick shot after the drop. There goes the foul of the game. Center ice, and the bouncing puck is finally knocked down and gloved by Rogi Vashon. He hangs on. Over the line, Abermatt dropping for Bubla, clears it in front, right on Rogi Vashon. And he makes the save, and the puck goes behind the net for Bobby Orr. right now. The telecast of this game is presented solely for the interest of our viewers under copyright of Canada Cup of Hockey 76. Any use of this telecast without the express consent consent of Canada Cup. Back at Maple Leaf Gardens, Ron Roche along with Tom Watt, Canada leading four to nothing, and we have a delay and an interesting situation props up here. There is a standby official where Ron Andrews is checking out to see who he is now. Gordy Lee, if he cannot come back. Breaking down the right side, watched by Robinson, take it out of the play. Carrying on, though, is Peter Stachny back to Halupa. And Vashon stops that, and Daryl Pierce Novi going in with Augusta. Novi gets that. Oh, and stopped by Vashon. Both takes to Martinet. In over the line, Martinet shot, and Vashon comes out and covers up, holding on for a faceoff. Sean has certainly been brilliant in the Canada Cup Series. And we have a penalty to Dennis Potvin. Did a little roughing in front of the goal there. This is another consideration that Team Canada is going to have to... Actually drops it back. Hit over the line. A backhand shot. And juggled the grab by Rookie Vashon. The telecast of this game is presented only for the interest of our viewers under copyright is glove and the Fox Dashney in front. Here's a chance in front again a backhand shot. Five seconds have been played. Dashney in over the line. Side of the goal dumps it in front and it's intercepted. Another shot. Here's a shot. Oh and back pops up that. And Dashney will sit up in front. What a save by Rogi Vashon. Bozo Rogi Vashon. 52 seconds remaining in the penalty to Bill Barber, and it's icing against Czechoslovakia. I don't really believe in turning points of games, but uh, I think that if this game ends with uh, Team Canada winning, a lot of people are going to refer back to the save that Vachon made just there, just about halfway through this second period. It was a, a good passing play right in front, Wide open Stastny, a shot, and Vashon had to be very, very quick with their legs save. And right from the faceoff, Zerilla had to be sharp. He seemed to be effectively taken out of the play. That goal scored at the 16-minute mark of the third period. Pospis shield and Obi, his shot, the rebound in front. And there's a chance for Obi. Obi breaks away, all alone, ready on goal, shoot, oh, and that shot got him. One minute. Team Canada got caught as Hull lost the puck. Novi on the breakaway. Watch LaPointe at the very end hooking his stick and getting a good piece of it and preventing a good, real good scoring chance for Novi. A 4-4 time. Here's Martin Epps, a shot. Oh, and Bashon reached that out of the air. Gorilla was almost to the blue line. He thought it was a goal. Great save by Bashon. We had much goal tending at the other end. Here's an example right here. Pollock taking the shot, Bash on the save, and if you noted afterward, Pollock came up, gave a big uh, pat in the back to Bash on. The outstanding Team Canada player of this series, I think you know who it is, Rogatien Bashon.
receives the Toyota Mark II, the outstanding player in the series on Team Canada. And he shakes hands with Milan Novi. And Marcel Dion's there to keep Holacek's goaltending sweater on. And Holacek has Jerry Cheever. And there's Rogi Vashon changing with Zarilla. And you know, the sweaters fit. <laughs> On the prairies, and here's Mr. Lloyd Matt making the award to the top individual Canadian player. And again, Rogatien Bashan. Rogatien Bashan will receive the painting. Rogi, Rogi, and the chant is underway. Hey, 